sorry. Hello. Hey everybody, it's Heather. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get a notification for future videos, especially if you hit the little bell next to your favorite subscriber's name. Like let's say Calvin Harris was what I was just listening to. Hit that subscribe button. And then if you tap that little bell, you'll get notifications even quicker when I go live or upload new videos. So yeah, jewelry bag day. I got one and boy was it tough. I was really nervous that I was not gonna get one. Whew. I'll go into more detail. Let me get this chat open here. Not really a fight, but like could possibly in the future become one if more people hear about these bags. Cause it was cray cray. Pop out chat, got it, okay. Good morning, happy Saturday. Let's see, this light kinda goes in and out. Morning, morning. It's like, I was gonna put lotion on, but then I'm gonna handle all this jewelry. Wonder if I should put some on, cause it kinda needs some lotion. But then it's gonna get all over the jewelry. Hold on, one second. <clears throat> Since everyone's still popping in the chat. What are you doing, Cooley, baby? Okay, so I got to the Goodwill at, there goes the light, um, 7.45, and wait, no, 8.45. Happy cowgirl thrifty, how, Thrifter, sorry. Howdy. What state do you live in? Since you're all countrified, are you in Texas? <laughs> um, so there were people waiting outside the door. Four women were already there before I got there. Um, and so I got there at 845. They were already there. So it's like, you're, I'll have to get there earlier. Is that Denmark or I don't even know what DE stands for. I'm retarded apparently. Sorry. I wonder when I get closer to the screen, it gets brighter. So we'll have to kind of just fool around with this lighting. I tried to sit next to this window so you guys can see when I hold up these tiny little pieces. Delaware, okay, yeah, I was totally off. So um, before I have walked into the, the um, Goodwill store and there wasn't that many people waiting in line. So they put like two jewelry bags side by side at the register and then they have their jewelry counter way at the front of the entrance. So I just go straight to the cashier register to grab the jewelry bag that cost $25 there. Um, but today there were so many people, the um, ladies at Goodwill separated the bags. So they put one on this side one on this side and one at the top of the register. So three people took off in three different directions and I got one. Yay. Can I get a round of applause? If I could add that like cheering, clapping and sound on here, I would later editing the video. Um, so thank you so much to the Goodwill employees who separated the bags. Um, I will tell you that I was waiting in line, okay, four women in front of me, and at least four women show up behind me. Okay, I've never seen it like this. I don't know why today's different. The weather's cloudy and rainy, right? So I see this vejita in Spanish. It's like um, an older lady, I think. Walita is grandma in Spanish. So I see this vejita lady coming up. And she, of course, gives the lady in the front of the row a hug because they know each other. They go there all the time, obviously. And so 
she goes up to the front, gives that lady a hug, and then she gets back in the back behind me. Well, like right when they're opening the door for us to go inside, I see this vajita trying to cut in front of me. And don't you know, I was there before four other women behind me. I threw up my arms in a nice way. I was just like, hold up, wait your turn, please. You know, like we're in line. Like just because she's older than me doesn't mean that she gets to cut in front of me. And don't you know, I would have been really upset had she have thought that she could cut in line with her friend in the front of the line. I would have said something if I had not got a jewelry bag, right? <laughs> So I got one. It was literally like a fight. Okay. Like I could have thrown down for it. No, I'm joking. You know, you got to share. So I did get all of them that they put out last time. So that's awesome. I mean, nobody else went for them. There wasn't a line. They all went to the jewelry counter to get the expensive pieces, but I'm cool with that. I'll take my little pickings here. Maybe one day when I lose the jewelry bag, then I'll just go and shop at the counter and see what I can find. So the Goodwill employee told me that <clears throat> they get so much jewelry that they can't sort it out. So that is why they do jewelry bags because they just don't have the time to be sorting out bags. So that's the story on that. Um, so today, again, I only got one bag. It was $25. And I went and got that bag. So I decided to go look at the counter. And all the women were going crazy, like grabbing all the necklaces, just grabbing whatever they could find. And I happened to find these. And I'm all, yeah, it's glass. I don't mind. I thought maybe they would be scorpions in there, which is good that I didn't find scorpions because I'm a Leo and I'm totally into the astrology stuff. Scorpions are like a Leo's enemy. So what is in here is a glass stone, probably maybe quartz. I have no idea. Maybe in the future I will know. But there, it looks like there's tiny, they're real. They're tiny little bumblebees. And you know what? This has actually got the rainbow. Well, they have glitter on the back. See? The most expensive thing I found in a jewelry bag. So right now I have like five auctions going um, on some James Avery jewelry, you guys. And they're going to end <clears throat> selling. Let's see. One of the highest one already is up to like, well, I have two of them that are up to like $30. Um, but I'd have to say like this bracelet I'm wearing here, these sell for 60 to a hundred dollars. This is the, uh, Chan Lu bracelet. And then this one sells for like 20, 50, but, um, I sold Brighton, a couple Brighton pieces. I can't remember what they sell for like 60 as well. I'm not sure if it'll pull up my old history here. Yeah. eBay hides my older history on my phone app. So refine. I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's awesome. So I'm not sure if some of these jewelry pieces may go up to 50 to $60. So my eBay uh, store is in the video here. If you're interested in following my store, you can watch them. So definitely don't shield bid or anything. I don't need anybody to help me with any bids. Um, I just want to do it organically and honestly and I want people who win to pay for their listings. So I don't want to have to do it to the next buyer. <laughs> but thank you if anyone is ever thinking of doing that. I know when I first started eBay, I was like that. I was like, can you just like help me bid up this listing to my friend? And I did get caught. Like you will get caught on eBay. <laughs> that was like over 15 years ago when I was like a kid started my eBay account. It's like, just bid on it a little bit. See if it works. Okay, so I'm opening the jewelry bag. They tape it, but I do try to salvage these plastic bags if I can, because they are expensive. And I need to put all this junk jewelry back in here. Especially what I'm not gonna use. Um, and honestly, I can't think right off the top of my head if I've had any more 
tire pieces. I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of down. Like, I only got one bag, and I feel like my bag's not going to be good today. So, fingers crossed, you guys. Like, I need some positive energy here. I got my, is that, yeah, selenite, moon rock here, rubbing it for good luck. Okay, are y'all ready? So, uh, the earrings, I apologize. The earrings, they wrote on here that they were $2.00. Um, usually they're cheaper, so if they're not marked, they're like 50 cents. But I guess they knew that these were good quality. It does also have it like a crystal rock stone. Looks like a green turquoise in there. So yeah, yeah. So my total was 29.23. They didn't ask me to round up. <clears throat> There's a possibility that I may have a jewelry bag haul for you guys later. That's a secret, um, but we will see. Stay tuned after lunch. I hope I will find out more information. So let's get into this haul. Right away, I'm finding a Shiloh Mickey Mouse band. It looks like it's kind of like a Fitbit bracelet. I have no idea what this is. Let's look it up on eBay. Hey, Bobby loves the coupon. Oh, I already got my eBay up, app open. So search, and then we have S-H, S-H-Y, Shy Low. That's weird. Band, and then I'm gonna put Mickey Mouse. I don't think they sell for much, but we'll see. Oh, I need to hit used. I don't want condition any. Anyways, we're moving along, but they, I mean, I think the new ones. Here's pre-owned. There's a $6.50 one that sold. Not like mine, but it's a different color. But I'm not going to do research during these videos. That's like a whole nother ball game, right? That would take forever. Okay, so that's our first piece. Try to clear out this area. That way I can like separate what I need to. Put the lid on this bad boy. My exacto knife. Okay. Come on, selenite. Bring us some good luck. I don't even know what selenite is supposed to do for you. I think it, what it say, clear positive energies and stuff. So, yeah. It's like, hold up, everybody. Wait. I'm in line. Wait your turn. That's what I had to tell the ladies this morning to get my jewelry bag. People tried to cut in front of me um, because we were early at Goodwill before the doors opened, you guys. And I literally had older women trying to cut in front of me. And I threw my hands up. And I'm like, hold up. Wait your turn, please. Wait your turn. Like, we're all adults here. I ain't going to be fighting over no jewelry bags, but I was here before you, okay? So, um, this is, uh, kind of, it's really dirty, actually. It would be prettier, but just a big rock. Kind of, it's not plastic. It's It looks vintage-y, but I don't know. So, moving along. Um, right away, I see some really, some really, some real fresh pearl necklace here, it looks like. But hold on, I have a Believe brooch pin that's kind of bent. I don't see any rhinestones missing. Put that there. I have a, a bunch of brooches, so collecting them. So here's some real, you can tell by the shininess that these are real like freshwater pearls, I think, because they're, you can tell they're not plastic. See that? So that's cool. Cute little necklace. Throw that there. <clears throat> come on, come on. Oh, yay. Aw. So I, um, if y'all don't already watch my videos, and if you're new here, I'm totally under crystals and rocks right now. So here's a rock necklace, but it's broke, but there's good news. There's a salvageable good one here that is beautiful. So 
so this is cool. Um, I'm not seeing a name brand on this, so it's just a cheap, like, store. Nothing special. Throw that up there. Oh, lighting. I'm so sorry, you guys. I was wondering about that. Um, here's a, just a red cheap uh, necklace that we'll throw in the jewelry junk. It's tarnished. It's clearly not real. You can see the tarnishing on the silver here. And I'm not seeing any name brands. So that is junk to me. Junk jewelry. I have about 20 pounds of jewelry that I need to get rid of. So here's a feather. Um beautiful feather pendant, I guess, for a necklace or something. And it's wrapped on a broken real leather, like, necklace, I guess. There's no stones missing. It's pretty cheap, so it will go in the junk jewelry bag that I need to sell. So here's another cheap bracelet. It's pink. And it looks kind of older, vintage -y, but I'm not sure. I'll throw that with that bracelet. That's also junk jewelry to me. Super duper cheap um, pearl necklace that is broke. Junk jewelry. Someone else will love it. Um, we have a diamond earring here. Let's see. Pretty sure it's not real. Oh, there's two bags. And I don't see any engravings. It's definitely not 14 karat gold. I'm 100% positive on that, but junk jewelry there. Um, this has got a real stone on the bottom, but it is also not sterling, so it's junk jewelry. But the rock on the bottom is really nice. I'm not sure what stone it is. I see a flamingo. How cute. Reminds me of, um, is it Thrifty Flamingo? Is that their channel? Look, it's not even missing any stones. It's pink. Great garage sale item. I did not have a garage sale this weekend. I was supposed to have one today and maybe, yeah, Friday and Saturday. But it's been raining for one, but also I didn't get to set up my garage because they've been working in my bathroom and they've uh, been in and out of my garage getting stuff all dirty and dusty. So here is definitely some junk jewelry pieces. It's a nice white stone. I did see that some of these white stones actually sell. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. This one is junk jewelry. It's, oh, it's not missing any stones, but it's extremely, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's extremely tarnished. So that's definitely junk jewelry. Oh, cool. This one's got an engraving. Yeah. I'm not quite sure, you guys. It's got a crown and then some kind of, I don't think it'll pick up. It's got some kind of crown and then some other engravings. And an initial, but I don't know. We'll set this close by. I'm going to put this Believe uh, brooch in the junk jewelry because it's pretty tarnished and maybe getting bent. Even though I probably should throw it with my brooch file. Hello from Malta, Europe. Wow, hello, Mar Marion. Marion, did I say that right? Let's see, broken necklace in here. Pull the other way, Heather, not that way. Welcome, welcome. So here is a super duper junk jewelry. It's a really cheap uh, necklace. I can just like bend it. Um, just like a JC Penney's or anything, Walmart jewelry, junk jewelry, junk jewelry bag. Exactly what I have bought here, but sometimes you find treasure, right? 
Um, so here's a layered necklace. It's pretty, but it is also kind of tarnished and it's cheap costume jewelry. It's really pretty though. Baby pink colors. I'll set this aside just in case. Okay, we got a lot of charm necklaces here. That's cool. These are really pretty. So here's one that I could definitely sell. I might could bundle up um, a couple of these. Like, for instance, this broke one. All I have to do is remove this big one and just sell this charm one with the blue stone together like with this. Um, so that's awesome. <clears throat> so here's a brooch. And I definitely might list this on eBay because you never know. Little pieces like this. You just never know. I will keep that brooch aside now that I said I'm like double guessing myself. Here. Did I already show this one? Yeah. It's the white one. These are kind of a nicer glass white bead, but I don't really think it's worth anything. We'll check it out. Ooh, ooh, I see turquoise all up in this baby. Oh, this is a matching uh, white stone that matches this red one. Maybe we could sell both of them together, right? Pretty cool. Very cheap, though. So what's this one? This has got, like, all kinds of stone. It's got um, turquoise, whatever the red stone is. It's got, ooh, it's got the green. Um, what is that? It's got, it looks like it has tiger's eye. Um, I can't remember what the green is, but these, this is cool. Someone might like these because of the beads that are on it. So I might list this one up on eBay. Here's the clasps or whatever. They're really cheap, but the stones are definitely real. These bracelets in the junk jewelry or with Mickey Mouse. Here's a little girl's glitter bracelet. I totally had these when I was little and I loved them. Junk jewelry. Um, really cheap necklace from like Walmart or JC Penney's or, you know, just cheap jewelry um, for the office. They're cheap beads. They're kind of obviously dirty and tarnished. Junk jewelry. Oh, these are very special. Like, they are special. So here's some earrings with some kind of wire drop, and they have crystal rocks hanging. So these, definitely eBay thing, like, just let them auction up and see if someone absolutely loves them, right? So set those aside with our marked earring that we don't know who made. Here's a cute little earring. Is the screen messing with you guys? Let me know, because I know it's fading in and out, so I could probably do something different. I have another box light I can bring in here for lighting. So again, there's that long uh, three-piece necklace that I have. Um, this one's not engraved, but it has like a little charm logo maybe here by the class. I don't know who makes it, but it's another long necklace which is very popular women love to wear these not gnaw long necklaces okay here's a like it looks like hound's tooth fabric um bow brooch pin cute i like it like that um here's some bangles ba -ba -ba bangles where are you going, Chloe? You leaving me? Mm, none of them are engraved. They all look copper tarnished. 
So a stack. I have a, quite a few bangles I'm collecting to lot them up together. Okay, this I saw through the bag, and this is cool, but it's missing a stone, which can be easily replaced probably, but it has the like the tiger's eye green maybe. I don't know if this is another stone, but it's glass. It's not plastic. Um, it's wood, so that's cool. I have a little wood collection. I'm collecting wood pieces that I might lot up all together one day. Um, here's some cheap earrings, junk jewelry, dangles, enamel, maybe on that one of those. What are you doing, uh, Flamingo? Let's go over here with our other long necklace lot. That's hip and cool. Hip and cool. Another little earring. I actually did separate and lot up, or not lot up, but these have rocks in them. Found quite a few glass beaded ones that were sterling silver. I haven't listed them yet, but I will be listing them on eBay. Here's some a little cheap dangle earring with wood and shell or mother of pearl kind of like, but that's junk jewelry to me. A cheap bracelet that is broke. Or no, it's not broke, but it is tremendously cheap. No engravings. Um, this is funny, right? Because these are my maiden name. Um, H, Heather. My middle name is Renee. And I won't expose my maiden name because that's like, you know, password protected information online. And it's you can probably easily find that out on your own if you really wanted to. But my maiden name starts with a W. And it's uh, so this would have been my initials entirely. It's like homework, right? Kind of. That's very cheap. Moving along. Ew, that's cool. Not really. Okay, so here we have a layered necklace. Again, it's really cheap, um, just costume or whatever. It's kind of cool. It's got all these circle loops that dangle, and it's kind of long, but it is junk jewelry, super duper cheap. I knew this bag had some cheap stuff in it, but we'll see. Maybe the bottom has the best. Save the best for last. Here's a cheap earring that is bro or bent. Enamel black. Uh, here's the matching earring to this little rock one. So I guess I'll keep that with my little rock necklace over here. Junk jewelry earring. Super cheap. That's broke. We have an earring here with no engravings. It's cute. Found a brooch. I actually have one of these. So this is the second one I have, I believe. Huh. Yep. I have two of these. No engravings. And then on the back of this, I see that it's a goodie stay put jungle with a little decoration shell thingy i guess that's plastic but it is engraved goody you know the hair tie brand that's junk jewelry i don't want that here's another brooch it's missing a pink stone but on the back it says oh monet monet so it's missing one pink stone diamond stone or whatever you call it got that with my brooch stack um i had a bunch of these and i think i still have them so the little girls plastic elephant maybe i need to list these on ebay because i have a bunch of these and i don't know what they are like they're just little bracelets with different animals and stuff on them but i have like 10 of them so right away i see these are together they're tarnished and they're cheap i don't want nothing to do with these a two-piece earring. Wow. Okay. I'm on. <clears throat> so this is new with tags and 
think it's just plastic. Uh, it has a $25 price on it from Macy's. Who is it? Yeah, just Macy's. Hmm. Very cool that it has a $25 pricing on it. It's cool that the string is made out of ribbon and not like plastic. So it's very uh, quality made. So this is a nice piece. It might be worth putting on eBay. Put that aside. Oh, what's over here? So we have the matching star dangle earring here. It's super cheap and vintagey kind of like. <laughs> Another long layered necklace that is uber duper cheap. It's black and gold. It's a good garage sale piece though. It's actually kind of pretty, but it's really cheap. So check out this piece. Okay, it's just a golf resort. Toa, Tawa. And what is this? Like a Navajo thing? I don't know what that is. It's really heavy. We have a glass purple beaded bracelet. It's too big for me. Junk jewelry. Okay. Oh, look, that one's the matching earring, but the ball fell out. Junk jewelry. We have a rope knot earring with no engravings. Here's the matching wood shell dangle earring. Let's see if it's sterling. I don't think it is. Nope. Um, here's a tiny little brooch thing that's broke with nothing on it. So that's junk jewelry. A cheap little earring. I don't care about the match. Here's a little feet. Uh, it says Heritage House, and then seven from like 1976 maybe incorporated, and it's got a teardrop with feet. I'll have to look this up. Oh, this is pieces that I really like, kind of. This is weird. It's not sterling silver, but it's a glass beaded dropping necklace, like an upside down flower. Weird, but it's kind of cool. I'm going to set that aside with my glass bead rock collection. This is weird. There's a bobby pin, I think that's what it's called, with some beads on it. I saw this through the bag. I could tell it wasn't real just by looking at it. Here's another cheap earring. Here's an, a brooch pin again. It's a little bird. Bird. Reminds me of Bambi. Bird. Oh, it's stamped too. From 1987. That's weird how these pins have a date. And it reminds me of the Mockingjay from, uh, God, what's that show, the movie? Hunger Games. I don't know what happened to my fingers here, what I cut myself on. It's a cute little, uh, what is that, a um, hummingbird? Right? Is that a hummingbird? I think it is. There's a cheap, pearly looking, oh, the lighting. Yeah, pearly looking earring. Um, this is a cute, nice little earring, but it's not sterling silver. It's a blue little earring. I might set this aside just because it's good quality and the stones are missing. There's a tiny broken necklace. I don't see any engravings and it's super tiny. I'm just gonna throw this in the junk jewelry. It's also broke. Oh, this matches, what does this match? The earrings, right? Oh yeah. This looks like it, oh no it doesn't. The earrings that I bought, it's a green turquoise. It matches kind of the earrings, right? I might list those together. 
So here we have a watch, and I already have a bunch of watches. This one's digital, though, but we'll lock that up with my watch. Watch? Lot? Maybe? Okay, this is kind of creepy. This is TM and Company 1998 DreamWorks, made in the USA. Uh, yeah, it's like a copper necklace, a baby in a basket. It reminds me of Willow. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look it up. All right. This is going to go in a garage sale. It's a leather um, game wear Texas Rangers women's bracelet. Oh, this is pretty. I don't know what to call it. This cheap necklace, though, made in Korea. It's the gold chain. I don't know what those are called. I probably need to learn this word, though, because it's common. But it's got a copper enamel cross. It's kind of enamel-y. Kind of unique. It's different. Okay. So why somebody would wear this, I don't know. But it says, I love you, in a speech bubble. It's tarnished and old, kind of bloop, junk jewelry. Come on, give me something good. Tell me something good. Um, yeah, there's no engravings on this. It looks pretty vintage. I think I have another piece like this. It's also tarnished. Um, but here's just a weird, funky, vintage-y bracelet. Hmm. Kind of junk jewelry, I think. I'm on, I think. Looks like a, oh, a wine glass, oh, wine glass bracelet charm or something. Probably it's glass beaded. Okay, so this is so cool. It is uber vintage. I will probably list it on eBay. I don't think it's sterling silver. No, it's not, but it is so cool. Some of these pieces still sell. So here's the chain. And then here's the enamel floral. I would totally wear this. So retro. Too bad they're not real flowers. It's very pretty. This is the back. It's kind of like tarnished. Kind of looks real silver. But I don't think it is, you guys. Maybe. Might be. I don't think it is. I love it. I just got my eyes crossed looking at that for too long. Whoop, whoop. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't be so quiet today, okay? Don't be so quiet. So here's another cheap drop earring. It's uber tarnished. I already have one of these. The um, Christian fish. My husband actually has this tattooed on his ankle. He's like, and they did a really bad job. He did it when he was like super young, I think. Um, here's just a cheap little bracelet. Here's another long uh, layered necklace. It's got like the turquoise or aqua blue. It's kind of cool, but not something I would wear. It's junk jewelry, garage sale. I think this goes to a bracelet I showed y'all earlier, and I, I knew it was broken. It goes to this one right here. Kiki, do you love me? This song is in my head. I don't know why. Um, here's three little people holding each other's hands. Cheap, but I'm going to throw that in my brooch lot. A cheap necklace or bracelet that's broke. X's and O's. X's and O's. That's what it is. And it is literally broken. So junk jewelry. 
It's not real, I promise. I know, the girl knows good quality when I see it. This is uber cool. I like it, I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go and like wrap the country. I want some more of it. Okay, this is cool. So we got an N, is it that like Napier or Napier? Is that that brand? Please tell me it's not. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, I gotta untangle it. Okay, check this out. It's so cool, Leo. <clears throat> um, so it's another long, dangly uh, necklace, but it's so cool. It's got these big, chunky charm elephants. And we have, an, is that an earring hanging? No, okay. So that goes with it. I would probably take that off because it's making too much noise, but I try so hard. Can't get enough of it. Yeah, yeah, don't get me started. Uh, yeah, so this little elephant is so cute. Oh, he's so cute. I don't know the brand of this. Do y'all know? Is it that Napier Nap something? Kiki. Um, this one's cheap, but it does have like a crystal or enamel rock in it, and it says it's engraved. Thailand nine two five. Good morning, flippin'. What'd you delete your Facebook for? Or is that personal? There you go, engraved. I always love these rubber. Not. Oh, the clasp is even in grade 925 too. So that's awesome. It's, it's weird. Oh, it's on backwards. I would have to flip it to show the red. I'm just going to take it off. We might list this one. It doesn't have the maker, but it's made in Thailand. Oh, <gasps> come back here. Um, oh, goodness. I need to go to James Avery and buy a cleaning cloth. I can't find mine. But James Avery doesn't clean other silver pieces. So I don't want to be cleaning jewelry all dang day. I'm just like to say all my James Avery pieces, I just listed them tarnished. Like, again, I really like I have a friend who loves to clean jewelry. So I feel like the buyer is going to love to clean it themselves. Like, hello. Seriously, you guys, like people have nothing to do sometimes and they just love to do it, like cleaning jewelry. So I don't mind listing, listing it tarnished. So we're going to throw that with our turquoise little strand. Does anybody know what these red rocks are? Hey, Crystal Book, are you in here? I'm so mad at my son right now, you guys. He threw a tantrum last night and he broke my new bowl. Like, you know my bowl that I just talked to you guys about? And I was gonna keep my rocks in there and my rocks were in there and he got mad and he hit my thing. He was talking to his dad. I was at the mall getting some bras. I needed some new lingerie like bras. And they text me a picture and he broke my whole bowl. So I told my, uh, it increased your happiness 50%. I bet. Yeah. Do, yeah. We all need to delete or put a timeout on our Facebook. Right. Um, he, oh, look, look, you guys, look at these. Um, I have some of these just now and I was like, oh, these aren't worth anything, but look, they actually have a name. Their Andara gla Andara glass is available in many colors. So it's Andara. I won't remember that. Uh, where's the word? Andara. Where did I see one? Like we have a piece right now. Did I throw it in the junk jewelry? I don't think I did. It's 
over, I know, it's over here, it's over there, I don't know where it is. And my brain's like, Kiki, do you love me? Where are you? I saw it somewhere, but anyways, I'll forget the name, but it does have a name. As long as they're not plastic. That's good, hustle, hustle. That's weird. Anywho. I try I'm so hard. I'm going back to your comment. Um, fishing and picking. I'm not seeing these red rocks, but again, I still need to do a video with y'all. Maybe we'll find them. So glad they made the rock picture so bigger. Nope. Okay, moving along. I'm so sorry. And I'm sorry about the lighting. Where's Amelia? There she is. Oh, look. These are Andara right here. Look. Right. They're like literally right in front of me, you guys. Or maybe they were on earrings, too. So those are those Andara rocks. They're glass. And I'm pretty sure we have some, yeah. Ooh! What is this? It's broken. Holy moly. There's crystal rocks inside of this. I just want to take it out. They're glass. And then we got all the Andara rocks down here. So are these... Yeah, these are like clear Andara rocks, maybe? Nope, maybe not. This is cool. I just wished it had a name. Looks kind of vintagey. It's broken. It's funky too. Like it deserves to be taken apart. It's not functional anymore. It's broken. I'm gonna set this over here with our crystal rocks. Okay. Okay. So again, I have another one of these. I don't know if these sell. They kind of, to me, seem like junk jewelry. But um, due to me learning about crystal rocks, I feel like these are more valuable now. Because um, again, we have multiple rocks on this strand. And then we have the, the red rocks over here. Hmm. I don't know. I can't wait till I learn how to say it, what it is. So here we have a, like the cheapest mustache necklace you would ever see. Like this is made out of like a craft paper. This is going in the junk jewelry. What is this? Is this a hair clip? Hello, hello, have a good day Saturday. Is it raining where you're at? It's raining here in Texas for like two days. So I'm like, what? Oh, never mind. It's not sterling. Here's a cheap flower. Broken. Uh, this is that matching earring with the diamonds and the gold. We might as well just stick them together. There it is, right here. Mm, there's no engravings, though. I don't know what the flip it is. Flipping, flipping. Oh, look. This matches the earrings. So we might have a broken necklace in here that go with those matching earrings that I set aside. But let's backtrack to some of this that's in front of me that I haven't showed you that's all tangled up. Right away, I see another glass crystal rock here. I love it. Your heat finally broke up in the north. Woo, thank goodness. I am like praying for a freaking freeze because the mosquitoes are outrageous here at my house. Too many trees. So check it, to wreck it. This is the same necklace that is the other one that is broken. 
and there's no engravings. Look, this one's not broke. I wonder what this is. I think this is so pretty. It's like gray. 60s today. Ooh, I don't know what it is. Today. Today, our high in Texas is 77 degrees. It's 69 right now, 10.50 a.m. Check it out. It's the same necklace. Just a different stone. I wonder where they sell, sold these. Okay, so we'll put those together. Together, Heather. Very pretty. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. There's some more. Kiki, get out of my head. It's because I heard it on the radio on my way home from the Goodwill. <gasps> Gotta watch the clock. Gotta. That's not too bad for Texas. Huh? Why did you say that one? A million times? I don't know. Ooh, this one's in gray. No, Trafari. Go, baby. It's right there. You can go. He's mine. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. So here's a really cool Trafari necklace. None of the stones are missing. I did see a Trafari piece sold on eBay recently for like 20 bucks. So this is definitely something I might put up. Also. Okay, so here's another long necklace that's cool. Can lot up a bunch of these not long necklaces for like 25 bucks for all of them. Make my money back on a jewelry bag, right? So none of the stones are missing. It's just like a cheap necklace from like Francesca's. And if you don't know what Francesca's is, we have one in my town. It's like a lady opened up a store boutique and she just buys a bunch of product and like doubles the price. And it's just like all this classy, you know, rich people stuff in my opinion. I never shop there. People that can afford to go in a boutique and spend $50 on one dress. That's like what it's like. Or 20 bucks for a silly necklace. Um, so here's another long necklace. It's a reading glasses. We'll set that one aside. It's okay. Here is a key dangle necklace, which is pretty popular. It's pretty good for a realtor, I would think, for me, because I licensed in Texas, but sell houses, right? It's a really long key, three key necklace. That aside. And then we have, what is this? It's hammered, like copper really cheap actually i'm gonna throw this i'm gonna throw this in a junk jewelry bag it can actually be sold in my garage still though just don't want to untangle it right now it's not broken luckily so here is a angel pen pin brooch whatever you want to call it <clears throat> almost done we got that much left Oh, uh, this is nice. Really nice. It's a Coleman watch. I wonder if I should give this to my kiddo and re replace his cheaper one that we probably got at Walmart. Coleman's pretty good. It's got like some water gauges or something. Might need to look that up. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I got ripped off on my bag, you guys. They don't have little pieces at the bottom like they normally do. Okay. All right. 
so this is a cool piece. It looks like um, little rocks all over it. I don't see a brand as usual. Um, this is a tarnished necklace. It's tangled up with the owl necklace. It's not broken, so that's cool. Here's a vintage um, 2003 AIBF Judges like a card poker pendant. You can tell it's vintage because it's yellow. Older. Keep that. <laughs> this is the second time I've seen this earring unless it's the match, but I think they were sold at Walmart. But I really did get a lot of compliments when I wore these when I had a like an office job. I don't know why people loved them. And again, when mine tarnished, I like literally, for the first time ever, I took a fingernail polish and painted them and wore them a couple times, but then they just got old and I got rid of them. So here's another cheek pin. This is that backing that broke. I kind of knew this bag wasn't going to be as good. So this one's kind of a dud to me. Um, so here's a Jesus pin enamel. Um, here's another, well, this one's cute. I did get a lot of really cool long necklaces. I do feel like maybe if I can bundle up a bunch of these on maybe Poshmark, possibly eBay, um, that if I put a, like five of them or something that someone would actually buy them for tw at least 25 or higher. Um, this one is definitely like a Francesca's piece again, I think. So it's really cheap. So there's that one. We did get us a little Timex watch. I'll throw up in the in my watch bundle. Uh, no, that's good for Texas, I would say. Um, here's a glass beaded like onyx. Looks like it's real silver, maybe, but looks like a Navajo cheap silver so it's not I don't see the match either so we do have a matching little oop, stud they looked green but they're black right are they green or black holy moly those are a green aren't they Ooh, they look black um so I got that we got another pink ribbon cancer awareness we got a little girl's frozen necklace, um, a really cheap necklace here, like bubblegum kind of colors. And we have another brooch. This one is Larry's, maybe? Looks like a wreath, wreath, whatever. Here's that matching earring, cheap one. Here's a tiger eye earring. So cool. To have like a tiny little necklace just with one or two of these little beads would be really cool. Kind of like what I'm wearing, the onyx, black onyx and labradite there is really cool. And I see a seashell that's gold uh, surround or trimmed. It's a really cheap gold piece, but it's cute. Third in the junk jewelry. Um, okay. Oh, I remember these. That's an old vintage bracelet right there. It's plastic. I had a bunch of those. Okay, so we have this green shell. I I don't really care for these junk jewelry, which I don't even know what these are called, but I know they have a name. Just ugly to me, but I think I'm pretty sure they do sell. So here's a life enamel pin back button that I took the pin off of. We have like two more pieces, you guys. What is this? Like black onyx or something or a glass bead? Makes a lot of noise. So cool glass necklace, garage sale piece, little girl's bracelet that's junk jewelry. 
And the last and not but least, oh look, there's that bead that I already can't remember the name. Started with an A, right? A, Adana, Adana, what was it? Oh my God, I don't even know what page it was on. <laughs> oh, there it is right there. Andara. Andara. That's what those are. It's a cute little charm. Um, anywho, the last that I have in here, you guys, is these beautiful glass beads. There's a quite a few of them. They are glass and they are red with like a rainbow kind of shimmer. Let me hold one up. Looks like it came off of a broken necklace. So these might be worth like just listing the beads alone on Craigslist and just putting that they're a... I'm gonna have to figure out what this pearl rainbow is. Is that how I put the, on the listing? The, yes, baby. Okay, can you hold on one second? I'm gonna say bye to YouTube, okay? Okay, one second. Hold on. Okay, I'm done, you guys. So um, I'm gonna tend to Ryle in here. He's done playing, so he needs mama's attention. So I hope you guys have a good day. And let me know if you have any questions or comments in the chat box below. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye.